Okay, guys, it's Eric Rizzovato here. Welcome to an episode of In the Catch. Uh, here we're going over uh, one of my athletes that I work with. Uh, she is primarily a breaststroker, I am her, but she's, uh, she's got a pretty good butterfly. Um, so a very common mistake that I find with butterfly when I'm working with athletes is uh, an outward sweep. Um, it's the catch. Uh, I find very few butterflyers, sprinters, or two IMers that actually hold water uh, within their stroke. Uh, I don't know why, but throughout the swimming community, it, it's thought that uh, you cannot hold water um, for distance events or mid-distance events throughout the entire thing. I don't believe this. I honestly believe it just needs to be trained into the athlete. Um, and when they become used to holding water uh, throughout the entire stroke, eventually they're going to develop the strength in those particular muscles, um, just like they would for any other exercise. Um, what we were trying to do with, um, with this client here is to get a full extension, straight arms, no lack of the, um, no slack in the elbows, um, and just getting those hands as flat as possible. It's very common to see butterflies that will enter thumb first or just with a very sloppy, relaxed hand, which gives you absolutely no chance to um, enter the catch immediately. Um, the first thing I do with a swimmer is make sure their body is fully streamlined within any stroke before entering the catch phase. Um, what you can see here, um, the biggest downside of her stroke is that her hands will go into an outward movement, creating a sweep outside of the body and then coming towards the belly button at the end of the stroke. Um, this is essentially an S curve, um, but there is no catch until the very end of the stroke there, which is very common in even Olympic athletes I've seen um, that do this. And so it can be a, a very interesting thing. Uh, I think for coaches and for athletes when they watch, you know, some of the, the, the best butterflyers in the world doing this. Um, and so they just think it's kind of normal. But what should be happening here is her fingertips should be pointing inward once the catch does happen. So there you can see that it went and then outward. What she should be is trying to point inward um, in order to hold uh, that catch in a, a direct backward movement. Um, any movement that is not in a direct movement backwards um, is wasted energy. And why would you want to do that? You know, you want to keep everything moving forward. You don't want any up and down movement. You want to reduce undulation and keep propulsion all moving forward. All right, guys, that's going to conclude today's session of In the Catch. I hope you enjoyed. If you're looking for private lessons or clinics, please feel free to email me. Thank you and have a great day.